Resilience is a significant factor in overcoming challenges. According to Chow and colleagues, it enhances coping, adaptive abilities, and well-being, leading to academic success and future careers. Good day, University of St. LaSalle community and future researchers. I am Patricia Nicole T. Barazan, and together with me are Brian Bacomo, Geo Patrick Baliwag, Antaris Maliadas, and Kylie Kiat Banjola. We are from BN3A Group 1B presenting a research paper entitled Level of Resilience in Blended Learning Among Nursing Students. The blended learning modality brought significant changes to the students' learning capabilities, motivation, and coping strategies to adapt, thus determining its impact on the nursing students' resiliency as a factor of academic success is important. The study aimed to determine the level of resilience in blended learning among nursing students. Specifically, the study sought to answer the following questions. First, what is the profile of the nursing students in terms of the following? Sex, year level, religion, and type of geographical area. Second, what is the level of resilience in blended learning among nursing students in the aspects of the following? Personal, social, and spiritual. And lastly, is there a significant difference in the level of resilience in blended learning among nursing students in terms of the following aspects? When group according to the aforementioned profile variables, personal, social, and spiritual. For our research design, the study utilized a descriptive, quantitative research design, which deals with acquiring information about situations, then organizing and describing topics that the research tackles in the form of numerical data through surveys and data analysis using statistical methods in the form of descriptive statistics. This aid in obtaining data which accurately represented the difference and level of resilience in blended learning among nursing students. The participants of this study were levels 1 to 4 nursing students of academic year 2022 to 2023 in one of the nursing schools in Bacolod State, with a total population of 963. The participants were chosen through stratified random sampling and were grouped according to year level and samples were taken from each stratum. Using Slovin's formula with 5% margin of error, the computed sample size result was 275. The study utilized our searcher-made questionnaire. It included four parts, the nursing student's profile, followed by questions regarding resilience in personal, social, and spiritual aspects. Part one includes the demographic profile of the participants, their sex, year level, religion, and type of geographical area. Under part two, the personal aspect, the third part, the social aspect, and lastly, the fourth part pertain to the spiritual aspect. For each aspect, a five-point scale was used, ranging from five, I strongly agree, to one, I strongly disagree. Laoshi content validity ratio was used to validate the instrument, and there were 10 experts for the testing. The minimum value was 0.62, and among the items in the questionnaire, one item from parts 2 and 3 was rated below the minimum, thus excluded. Cronbach's alpha was used for reliability. 15 levels 1 to 4 nursing students from different schools not participating in the study were chosen. The Cronbach's alpha result was 0.903, interpreted as very good internal consistency. Microsoft Excel and IBM SPSS software were used for statistical analysis. Anderson Darling was used for the normality test and the result was normally distributed. Thus, parametric statistical tools were applied for each objective of the study. The first part shows the demographic profile of the nursing students. There were a total of 275 participants and in terms of sex, 73.8% of which are female and the remaining are male. Dominated by level 3 students with 28.7%, followed by level 4 with 28%, level 2 with 22.9%, and level 1, 20.4%. 79.3% of the participants are Catholic and the remaining belong to other religion. 80.4% reside in urban areas and the remaining reside in rural areas. The level of resilience in blended learning among nursing students in a personal aspect, when taken as a whole, the mean was 3.87, interpreted as high. The mean according to sex in males, was 3.82, and for females, it was 3.89, both yielding a result interpreted as high. For the year level, the mean for each year level, first, second, third, and fourth years were 3.98, 3.89, 3.86, and 3.77, respectively. This indicates that all year levels have high resilience. On the other hand, Catholic students had a mean of 3.86, while non-Catholic students had a mean of 3.89, both were interpreted as high. Lastly, for the type of geographical area, the mean for students who live in urban and rural areas are 3.87 and 3.85 respectively, which were interpreted as high. 
the level of resilience in blended learning among nursing students in the social aspect in terms of sex, males yielded a mean of 3.79, while females yielded a mean of 3.88. Both were interpreted as high. All year levels yielded a mean of 3.97, 3.77, 3.95, and 3.75 for the first year, second year, third year, and fourth year, respectively. All were interpreted as high. Roman Catholic nursing students resulted in high resilience with a mean of 3.86, while those who belonged to other religions also had a mean of 3.84. Those living in urban areas had a mean of 3.85, while those living in rural areas had a mean of 3.88, both interpreted as high. When taken as a whole, the mean was 3.86, indicating a level of resilience interpreted as high. The mean in the spiritual aspect when grouped according to sex was 3.96 in males and 4.10 for females, both interpreted as high. The mean for each year level, first, second, third, and fourth years are 4.14, 4.12, 4.10, and 3.94 respectively, all of which were interpreted as high. Catholic students had a mean of 4.05, while students who belong to other religion had a mean of 4.12. Both were interpreted as high. Lastly, the mean for students who live in urban and rural areas are 4.09 and 3.95 respectively. Both were interpreted as high. When taken as a whole, the mean was 4.07 interpreted as high. The results of the study showed that there was no significant difference in the level of resilience in blended learning among nursing students in the personal aspect when grouped according to sex, religion, type of geographical area and year level as evidence by its P value, 0.45 per sex, 0.75 for religion, 0.79 for the type of geographical area, and 0.35 for the year level. Next, there was no significant difference in the level of resilience in blended learning among nursing students in the social aspect when grouped according to sex, religion, type of geographical area, and year level as evidence by its P value, 0.34 per sex, 0.83 for religion, 0.85 for the type of geographical area, and 0.15 for the year level. And lastly, there was no significant difference in the level of resilience in blended learning among nursing students in the spiritual aspect when grouped according to sex, religion, type of geographical area, and year level as evidenced by its p-value, 0.15 for sex, 0.53 for religion, 0.19 for the type of geographical area, and 0.31 for the year level. The last table shows the mean scale of the overall level of resilience among nursing students under blended learning. Results show that the students' resilience was high when grouped according to the personal, social, and spiritual aspects. This reflects that students are capable of overcoming difficulties. As mentioned above, various factors contribute to the high resiliency level of the students. Resilience, the ability to adapt or recover from adversities and a predictor for students' academic success, was assessed to determine if the transition affected the levels 1 to 4 nursing students. The results showed that when grouped as a whole or according to profile variables, the resilience among nursing students was high. Since the results showed that students have high resilience, this should be fostered and maintained because the abrupt modality transition tests the students' adaptability and coping mechanism to pursue the course. The resiliency levels of students could potentially predict academic success, course completion, and in the long run, professional practice. The researchers recommend these to the following. To the school administrators to provide detailed information on the efficacy of a blended learning environment based on the student's resiliency level. To the clinical instructors to consider how students' resiliency in a blended learning environment may affect their clinical competency through evidence-based skill evaluation. To the community to create better management by considering the possible problems of blended learning-related functions that could help with students and beneficiaries with blended learning challenges. To the parents to be informed about the possible correlation and repercussions of blended learning related difficulties to a student's academic performance. To the nursing students to find ways and suggestions for building resiliency and better clinical competence in the nursing field. Lastly, to the future researchers to provide further studies on the topic and to have a broader scope of participants and a larger data pool to extract information. To access our references, you may scan a QR code on our poster. Thank you. And this will be all for 3A Group 1B, an art study entitled Level of Resilience in Blended Learning Among Nursing Students.